Hi and welcome to a very exciting tutorial today. We're going to talk about machine learning core ML that was just announced a few days ago on WWDC 17. And machine learning is really cool because we can do all lots of things with it. And Apple provides us with some working models like the uh, places uh, Google net machine learning model for image classifications. And as you can see, this model detects the scene of an image from 205 categories such as airport terminal bedroom, and so on. And what the uh, goal of this tutorial is to introduce you in working with models and we have a, a very simple demo application here and this is an image classification app that um, we have provided with three different images, one of a river, another one with a city and a skyscraper and um, one with some landscape and some trees. And if I press on one of those images, the machine learning in the background is processing this image and gives us the right category or the right scene, which is river, city skyscraper or skyscraper and a tree farm because we have three trees here. And I'm going to show you now how you can work with this model, how to add it to Xcode and also how to process images, which could be a little tricky. To get started, what you should do is visit developer.apple.com slash machine learning. The link for that is in the video description below and download one of these models. Our example app should work with both the Google Net machine learning model and the ResNet 50 model. Um, the difference is that the uh, Google Net uh, model detects scenery and the ResNet 50 model detects the dominant object in an image, but it should work with both with slight adjustments. I have used the Google Net Places machine learning model and I've also already downloaded it. And now we can actually start with our little demo application. To um, have be at the same starting point where I am, just go ahead and download the uh, starter files in the video description below. It looks something like this, basic core ML. We open that up in Xcode, which should be the uh, current beta version of Xcode 9. And what we want to do here, or let me just show you what is already added to this project, a very simple storyboard with three images that you've already seen with a label that is already connected to the view controller class. We have three gesture recognizers that are associated with all of these uh, or each gesture recognizer is associated with one of these images and linked to an IB action here that is called image tapped. And in this action, what we do is we simply um, cast the sender's um, view to a image view in order to access the image property so that we get an image to analyze. And it is very interesting that um, we And then we have one struct here, which is an image processor, which converts a CG, so a core graphics image into a pixel buffer. I'm going to explain why we need that in a second, but now let's start with our machine learning model. I'm going to drag my Google Net Places machine learning model into my Xcode project. And I make sure that I have selected add to targets and I finish. And if I click on that model, Xcode interprets this model and gives us a lot of information about it. So what we get is the name of the model, we get the license, the author, and so on. But we also get information about which inputs this model um, expects and also what it outputs. So it expects a scene image um, add to an input image to of the scene to be classified and it outputs the most likely scene label as a string and the possibilities of each scene as a dictionary. And we are going to respect that, of course. So we go into our view controller and the first thing to do in order to work with a machine learning model is to create one as an object. So we do that as a global property here, calling it model. And then we use the Google Net places initializer 
to create that model object. And what Xcode also does is creating a Swift or a model class from our Google Net Places a machine learning model automatically when you drag and drop that to your project. So this is all done by Xcode in the background and now we can return back to our view controller and worry about what we are interesting uh, interested in which is getting the scene for a specific image. And therefore we're going to write a function. Let's just do that below the image tapped. I'm going to call that scene label for an image and this is going to be a UI image and it's going to return a st optional string because if it fails then we want to return nil here. So let's do that right now to get rid of that error of a missing return. And now the first thing we need to do is actually think about how we can interact with our model. And this is very, very simple and this is also very cool. So we use our model, a Google Net Places model, and we simply call the prediction scene image function which gets or which expects a, C, uh, a scene image but we can't really work with a UI image here. It requires us to pass along a CV pixel buffer and this is the conversion of a UI image to a CV pixel buffer is quite complicated so I already did that for you and this is what's behind this uh, image processor where we just have this function uh, pixel buffer and I'm also going to put that on GitHub so that you can use that for your own projects and what this does is getting an image as a core graphics image and convert that to a CV pixel buffer. And we need to make sure that we can convert our UI image to that. So what I want to do here is using the if flat statement, creating a pixel buffer and using my image processor to create a pixel buffer from my image. And as you can see, we need to add a CG image here. So we're using the UI image as accessing the CG image property here and we can force unwrap that because it's coming from the image to analyze and here we definitely know that we have this image so that is safe and now if that works if we have this pixel buffer we can actually use our model and if you have seen that earlier this can throw an error so we're using a guard statement here and I'm calling my um, my um, constant just scene and now I'm trying to use my model access, not the muckle, the model, of course, using the prediction with a scene image. Here I'm passing along my pixel buffer and if this fails, so else with our guard statement, what we want to do is produce a fatal error with the message, let's say, unexpected runtime error. And since we want to return a string here, all we need to do is to return the scene and it's scene label, which is a string. And with that, we can build that and we should get no errors, the build succeeded. And now we can use this scene label function. And again, we just use two lines of code here to uh, actually get the prediction from the machine learning uh, model from CoreML. And now we can call the scene label function for the image to analyze and this returns a string which is optional so we check if we get a scene label and or we shouldn't maybe call that the same way we call it the function scene label string I'm calling it and then if that works using the if let statement what we can do is use our category label access the text property and simply assign the scene label string. And with that, we should also get rid of the last warning. And now we can run our app in the simulator, which does not work at the moment because I did that before. So let me close the simulator, try to run it again. Build succeeded, waiting for iPhone 7 to start. And we are launching our application right here in this new beautiful simulator. And now, suspense is killing me, <laughs> we can 
see our user interface and now I'm pressing on the first image. We get the river, we get the skyscraper and we get the tree farm. Really amazing. And the most complex thing here was really the conversion of the um, UI image to the, uh, to the pixel buffer. But as you can see, the real prediction using the model was quite simple. So again, the few steps you have to take. You have, if you have a predefined or a already created machine learning model, just drag and drop that into your project. Xcode automatically creates the model class. We can also have a look at that here um, for you, which imports CoreML and takes care of all of the rest, creating the uh, functions and the uh, properties that you really need. Then the next step is to create a model object and initialize it using the model's name. And next we can use the prediction with a scene image in that case, which is going to differ um, depending on the model that you are going to use, of course. And with that, we are really done. So this is just a first look at what CoreML can do with a simple example. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I definitely am excited to use all of that stuff. And um, in Swift Tutorial Conference 2017, we're going to uh, into much more detail about um, about uh, CoreML and have great examples. So definitely check out the link in the video description below about the free online conference with Tutorial Conference 2017, and you can also register for free there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.